Okay, so to start off this look, I'm priming my eyes. I'm just using a concealer mixed with my paint pot just because it's kind of dried out a little bit. So today for the eyeshadow, I'm using only one palette. So this will make it a lot easier if you do have this palette or you can go out and buy it because it's quite cheap. So I'm just taking that light color and running this on the brow bone. And now with this purple color, I'm going to use this as my transition color and blend this through the crease just to help the other eyeshadows blend later. So now I'm going in with this beautiful pink color and I'm going to use this pretty much all over the lid just to bring some light to the look and I just feel like it looks really glamorous, really girly and really pretty. So after I've popped that all over my lid, I'm going to take this dark purple color and I'm going to start blending that through the crease and blending it up into that light purple just so it fades away really nicely. So I blend this eyeshadow for a while, just deepening up the look. Just keep blending until you're happy. So now I'm taking this Maroni eggplant color and I'm pretty much going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm just going to darken and deepen up the look. I wanted it to be like smoky but still like kind of pretty pretty and girly at the same time. So I just use that on the outer corner and I just go between that one and the purple that I used before and just kind of blend it all together. So the black shadow is totally optional. It's just really how dark you want the eyeshadow to look. I wanted it to be a little bit darker so I took it on the outer corner and to the lower lash line again to make it a bit darker and smoky and I just blend that through and blend it out. So moving on to liquid liner, I'm just using this Essence Liquid Ink Liner and I'm just going to create a cat wing because I feel like that flatters my eye most. You can do whatever you want with this step, um, whether it be just a thin line of eyeliner, but I really like a cat wing to finish it off for myself. So now I'm going in with some mascara and I'm just using High Caliber Lash by Sigma and I'm just coating my top lashes for now just so when I pop the falsies on it all blends together and I'll do the bottom ones later. Going in with an eye pencil from Essence, I'm just going to be aligning my waterline, just the outer corner, just because I don't like closing up my eyes too much with a lot of eyeliner. And I'll also be doing the tight line up there as well. And now going in with some lashes. These are from Bow Beauty. I will list them down below. And they were actually pretty good. I was actually really impressed. So moving on to the face, I'm just taking my Base Magic Primer from L'Oreal. And this just helps to fill in pores and lines and whatnot. And then I'm also taking my L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer just to give my face a bit of a glow when I do put my foundation on. But just make sure you let all of these primers sink into the skin for a few minutes before you go in with foundation. Just because it can actually make the foundation slide off quicker. So for foundation today, I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Fluid and my Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation because I was very, very pale and I just kind of needed to mix colors just to get the perfect color for me. So basically, I'm just popping this all over my face with a Sigma kind of brush. I can't remember the name, but yeah, I'm just buffing this into the skin and then I will continue covering my face. So moving on to concealer, I'm using my favorite concealer. This is the LA Pro Girl Concealer. I can't remember the name. Um, I use this pretty much all the time. I definitely need to go get some more. It's just so high coverage and it's so ridiculously cheap as well. So basically I'm just highlighting under my eyes. I'll be kind of concealing my chin, my forehead, um, a little bit on my nose and just blending that out with my beauty blender. So now I'm going to do some baking on my face and I'm just using this yellow powder from the Australis Contour Kit and I'm basically packing on this powder under my eyes and I will be brushing off the excess later. I'm also going to put some on my chin and around my mouth and just under where I will contour just to make it a little bit more intense. And now I'm just going in with my Fresh and Flawless powder from Australis and just kind of brushing off the excess as well as blending it all together just so there's not any harsh lines. So now I'm bronzing with my Chocolate Soleil bronzer in light to medium and I'm just focusing this kind of on the cheekbone area or underneath the cheekbone and just around my face and my nose just to warm it up a little bit. 
so I wanted to give my face a little bit of a glow so I took this shimmery bronzer and kind of popped that on top of the chocolate soleil bronzer just to make it a little bit more glowing and not as matte all over the face and now I'm going in with my Romance Blush by Makeup Geek and just popping this on my cheeks. This is my favorite blush. It just goes with every single look, especially for fair skin. Now going in with my So Glow Highlighter from Essence, I'm just popping this on my cheekbones and around the temples. Um, I do end up highlighting again later, just kind of to set that area. So I'm just using my Mary Luminizer to do that, just to make it a little bit more intense. So now I'm taking my Bahama Mama bronzer and I'm just going to focus this right in the cheekbone area or right underneath just to hollow out those cheeks, make it a little bit more defined. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm taking pretty much all the dark colors down there and I'm just smoking out the bottom lash line just to kind of complete the look. And once you've done that, don't forget to do the bottom lashes with some mascara just to complete it, make it look all pretty. Now moving on to the lips, I'm just aligning my lips with this pink lip liner and just popping a pink gloss on top. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you liked the look that I created on my face. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.